Alright, hey guys, it's Whaley here with LMP Gamer. I'm doing a quick video for you guys on how to get World of Warcraft 1.6 on Mac or PC. So, let's just jump right into it. Um, 4.0.6 is still Cataclysm, so you will be able to play Wardens and Goblins. I'm, I think the only reason you would actually want this is to play on a private server, which is cool. I've been playing a lot of Please Land. Um, getting started, I'm um, getting back into a uh, live, but um, yes, let's get started. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna need to download something from Pirate Bay. Uh, well, no, it's actually not Pirate Bay. It's just a torrent. Uh, you will need uTorrent or BitTorrent, or if there's anything else. Um, it's a 15 point like 30 15 point two gigabyte. Um, you'll end up with this folder. So it's just regular WoW. It'll have all the same stuff, but uh, it's 4.0.6. So. Um, the folder is called World of Warcraft Cataclysm Freaks Edition 4.0.6, and I do have to give uh, Demonoid. Um, Demonoid, uh, I need to give you some credit. Um, you made a great folder, and um, yeah, I'm just just sharing it with people. So first, you can go to this link. It'll be in the description. All right, uh, Danielzo. Sorry if I didn't say it right, but. Uh, yeah, right here. Uh, this is for Please Land, but it's, it, can, it can it can be used for anything. Uh, thanks a lot for the torrent. Um, yeah, so you're gonna click Torrent Download, and it's just gonna bring you here. Then you're not gonna click Download now. Click just Download, and then that'll start. You'll get a torrent, and then if you guys don't know already how to use uTorrent. It'll start like this. Probably won't start till. I don't know. It shouldn't take very long. What'll happen is hopefully you get full health on this because health will make it go faster. I go maybe like 15 gigs or 15 megabytes a second because I have insanely fast internet. Um, as you can see, it's still seeding, but seeding doesn't really matter. You can just skip it. And you just click Show and Finder. Where is it? can't find it. Okay, whatever. Well, once that's done, you're going to get this folder. And with this folder, you're basically done. So you can go on any private server. I'll go on uh here I have it right here. Please land. Please land's a great server. I made a trailer for it. You guys should check it out. So you can go to connect or whatever it is. Windows OS please land launcher. Now, like I said, this will work for Mac, and if you want it to work for Mac, what you're going to have to do is you're also going to have to get Wine, which will also be in the description. I'll just go to it right now. Uh. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. Oh, I'll find it. Uh. Oh, here it is. Okay. It's good. So you need Wine Bottler and Wine. And it's if you guys don't know what it is, if this is only if you're on Mac. If you're on PC, you don't need this. If you're on Mac, what it does is it'll switch the programs from uh, PC to Mac. Uh, you will have to have Wine running when you're doing these. But one thing you have to know is never run Launcher or WoW. Never ever run those, or else it will upgrade the patch and it won't be good. I'm just gonna. Where is it? Can I change the name? Rename, okay. You can just. This is what I'm gonna do. I would do this too. Because I actually I accidentally clicked it once and then I had to re download the entire thing. Which is pretty annoying, so. Actually, you might be able to fix it if you open regular WoW. Yeah. You might be able to fix it if you open regular WoW, but I opened the launcher and it started patching for two seconds and then it wouldn't work. So with with Wine, what you're gonna do, this is if you're on Mac by the way, um, everything in here will look like a little like a wine bottle. So you're gonna download your um, launcher, but uh, yeah, so you're still gonna get the Mac launcher. You're just gonna drag it in here and then open it up and uh, one thing that's really important is while you're opening it up, it's gonna say, I forget what it says. It's, it, it's gonna say like, do you want to run it this way? It'll say like, don't allow, allow, or always allow. 
make sure you click allow if you click always allow then you're screwed and you can't fix it make sure if you're on Mac to click allow not always allow or you'll screw up and I'm not I'm not gonna help you I'm not gonna help you with that cuz I said it so I'm gonna get the Windows launcher well it's a big launcher so yeah um, I'm just gonna let this load awkward silence <laughs> so um yeah Altaz has been making some videos also oh looks like Altaz is online I just blanked out his name because it shows his real name and I hope he doesn't Skype me in a second maybe he will I don't know I don't know if you'll Skype me okay uh, okay so right here I have the launcher uh, okay please the launcher is safe so you know there's no viruses with please land so that's good Wait, don't want to do that. Alright, so you're going to get your launcher. And you're just going to drag it into there. And then click it. Open it up. And play. Wow EXE not found. Oh. Okay, so it does have to be named Wow EXE. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll just change this back to wow. Just don't open them. Please land. Alright. Alright, so please land is going to be a little download. Takes maybe five seconds. Just let that go. Alright. Okay, then. Here we go. I was I was gonna play last night really late. I was just about to get my Warbringer gear on Please Lands. It's like insanely good gear. Just about to get it, and then I accidentally clicked the launcher. Whoa! Okay then. But I want to play Please Land. Yeah, sometimes this Norton thing, it's it's like a virus thing, it really, really annoys me, because when there's something I want to download, it says, like, it's not safe, then it just, like, removes it. It doesn't even ask you if it's, like, why is this not letting me let me do it before? I don't know. Well, should work for you guys, so, well, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys liked it, and uh, stay tuned for next time.